So right here we have a motor contactor proofing fault. What that means is the proofing circuit for the M1 and M2 contactors is not being made. Uh, this fault you're getting at idle. So the first thing you want to check is to make sure that you have your voltage here on the on the right side of the IRB board for 2D. Make sure you have 120 volts AC there. So here is your proofing auxiliary contacts. So from the IRB board, you have 2D. And then that goes through your auxiliaries for M1 and M2. And then it goes through the normally closed to back to MR. So we're going to want to check to see if we have voltage at MR. So that will be located on the right side of the IRB board. So we're going to put our meter to AC voltage. Going to put one lead to ground. And we're going to measure MR on the IRB board. So that's three points down. So right there we have zero volts. That is because I removed the MR wire from the IRB board. To show an example, if one of your auxiliaries has gone bad, because they're supposed to be normally closed, so it should always, when these contactors are not picked, they should be normally closed and they should always provide voltage at idle position to MR. So we're going to put that wire back to MR. Now we see that we have our LEDs back for MDRD and MRD are in their proper state. So next step you want to do is if you are measuring 120 volts AC to MR and it's idle but your LEDs aren't making up over here at idle state M MDRD or MRD. So you want to take a look at these relays as well. So you might have a bad relay. So if you have a bad relay, that MDRD light will go away and you'll still get that fault. Motor contactor driver proofing fault. So, if you guys have a newer IRB board with the, uh, the solid state relays instead of these mechanical relays on there, then the next step you want to do is to swap out your IRB board. So that's for motor contactor driver proofing fault. You guys might have a brake driver contactor proofing fault as well. So it's pretty much the same thing is <clears throat> it's your proofing circuit for your brake contactors. And those brake contactors are inside of your iBox. So there you would have BK1 and BK2. And you have those auxiliaries mounted 
on top of BK1 and BK2. They're not um, side ones like your M1 and M2 contacts. If you are getting motor driver contactor proofing fault while you're trying to run, we want to make sure that your MR on the IRB board goes low when you pick as well. So if in a different scenario, you have everything normal, but when you go to pick, you'll get a brake, a motor drive contact your proofing fault, and you're still reading 120 volts AC to MR, then once once again, it could be an issue with, uh, with your auxiliaries. You also wanna make sure that the contactors pick all the way in as well too. One might be getting stuck uh, that could cause a, a proofing fault as well too to drive drive faults as well so for those proofing faults this is where you'll be troubleshooting most likely page d1 of your controller prints so that would cover motor contact or driver proofing fault so next if it is if you have a brake proofing fault so that is you'll need to go to page one of your controller prints so here's your proofing circuits for your motor m1 and m2 right here down here is BK1 and BK2 those are the auxiliaries so you'll have two bus feeding BK2 and they're normally closed so you should always have voltage at idle at BK1 so BK1 that'll be right here on your IRB board so if you're not reading 120 volts AC at idle position to BK1 then you'll you'll most likely figure out if it's an auxiliary problem or if it's a loose connection problem but just for an example here we're going to everything's normal right now no, no faults we're gonna remove BK1 from the IRB board so that would be also be labeled that's the second wire down it'll be labeled on the side too we're going to remove BK1 so we have BK1 wire removed so as you can see right here we're now going to get a break contactor proofing faults so this is just for testing purposes to show you guys um, doesn't mean you have to go out and test this out in the um, field to pull wires so you just want to check for voltages um, <clears throat> as well as your your auxiliary contactors contacts uh, it could be one of these relays or it can be your IRB board as well so that's for brake contactor proofing fault